Professor Andy Abbott is the joint winner of this year's Royal Society Brian Mercer Award for Innovation. The aim of his project is to make use of new technology developed at the University of Leicester in the creation of a recyclable alternative to medium density fibreboard, MDF. This project is inspired by nature. If we look around us, over 80% of the Earth's surface carbon is present in the form of either cellulose, starch, or lignin, so in other words, trees. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to learn from the mighty tree and we're trying to get it to inspire us how to make MDF. We've taken cellulose in the form of wood fiber and we've taken starch, which acts as the glue to stick those fibers together. And we've made a wonderful product, which is biodegradable, recyclable, and acts as a thermoplastic so that it can be molded. Traditionally, medium density fiber board would use uh, a resin, which would typically be something like urea formaldehyde and uh, formaldehyde is a carcinogenic compound and people are worried about it leaching into a closed environment. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is replace a thermo set resin, so one that's rigid, a bit like Bakelite that you'd have in your old uh, radio set, and uh, try to make something that's recyclable uh, and mouldable. So could you imagine having a piece of wood that was mouldable? What kind of unique selling points you could have from that? The, the sort of starch we're trying to use is, if, if you can imagine when you boil your potatoes at home uh, to make mashed potatoes or you boil your rice, there's that white layer that forms around the top of the uh, pan. That's just starch. Uh, so we're using materials like that. There's, there's a lot of that produced as, as a waste from things like the potato industry. So it's taking that waste product and using it then to, as, a, as a binder, as a glue, um, to, to make a, a new material. Our wood is very similar to normal MDF and in fact we've been told in some cases improves on it. You can route it, drill it and in fact where it has an advantage over MDF you can in fact thread it as well. So these are just normal bolts inside our wood and they are fully threaded in to that wood. So we're working with a, a local company to begin with um, called Sheridan and we've worked with them for about two years now and they helped us to, to make cabinets and they advise us they use a very large amount of MDF for point of sale applications. Working with Andy and his team has been a tremendous um, uh, eye-opener in terms of the potential of, of partnering between business and educational uh, faculties. So brainstorming with the university, we, we recognised the need and they recognised that they had potentially the, 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 um, the engineering solution or chemical solution to be able to provide it. One of the issues that you have is that once you've demonstrated it on a small block of, of whatever the product is, um, you've then got the issue then, how do I scale that up? And something that, that's economically viable. So this so-called valley of death, where most products tend to fail, um, is, is uh, aided by this Brian Mercer Award. Brian Mercer Award has provided us with the funding that will allow us to be able to carry out that scale up and push this, hopefully this product, on from the laboratory process into a full-scale manufacturing process. The practical aspect of getting the grant is, is, is really fundamental to be able to take this forward to the next stage, but it also, um, in my mind, uh, sets a precedent and, and gives this, the project a sense of value beyond where it's been before. The problem that we've had with our research so far is that we approached it like research chemists would, which is to say, OK, how would I make a material that had these kinds of properties? What we didn't do is we didn't look at it from a business point of view that says it's got to cost this amount per square metre. How can we make a material that costs that and has the environmental properties? So what the Brian Mercer project is about is trying to work out how do we make a product that's even better than MDF, even cheaper than MDF, and it has even better properties than MDF. And we think we found that trick.